everyone, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. Today is a re-release of an older video. This is one that we did back in 2020, early 2020. Uh, this was made for a charity. We raised 175 bucks for Australia back when they needed us. And I hope you like it. Here we go. Let's make it. So we're starting off today with this little wood ring box. Super cute, I painted it black. And the first step is to find our center point on the top of the box. And right now I'm just finding the halfway point on both the length and the width, marking the spot. And now I'm gonna use a divider stencil to divide it in two sections. Now we're going to take our compass and draw a circle that touches just the edge of the ring box right on the top. This is going to give us a gold band that goes all the way around the top section of the box. And now we're going to get all the colors of the rainbow. All these colors are listed down in the description. These are all DecoArt Americana liquid acrylic paints. And we're going to start with a big red dot. Now using a stylus tool, we're just going to place a dot on each of those lines all the way around that red dot in the center. And now using a slightly larger stylus tool, we're going to add a yellow dot right in between each one of those divider lines so it snugs right up into those two orange dots. And now we're going to use a slightly smaller stylus end and add our green right in between the yellow on top of those divider lines. Same size here with blue. So now we're coming in with a darker blue right in between those light blue dots and on top of the divider line. And now we're going to use Purple Sunset. This is a deco art satin paint. It's really pretty. I love that color and it holds up on black. So you're going to get your um, a rod that fits right in that space right at the edge and just make a big dot right along the outer edge. Now here I used DecoArt Primary Blue, which is a beautiful, bright, ultramarine looking blue when it's wet. And it looks amazing on light backgrounds. However, when it dries on a dark background, it turns navy. So you're not gonna see this paint listed in the description below. Instead, I used DecoArt uh, Sapphire Extreme Sheen. I just get a kick out of the name of that paint. I think it's so funny. I love it. Okay, so now I'm using the Arteza Gold Paint Marker. I use these all the time. They stink real bad, but boy, they have a really pretty shine. They look like gilded gold when you use them. And I trust my marker skills more than my brush skills right here, so that's when I pull this out. Um, now I decided to make that gold band really, really big. So I used my compass and I kind of made a border that was uh, equal distance all the way around and then filled it in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's a, it's a really shiny gold paint. So 
So now take your tool that makes your tiniest dots and just extend that gold out from the ring and into the mandala. And I'm using golden iridescent gold paint and a 1 8 inch pointed silicone tool. Um, but you just want to kind of pepper the dots and make them all different sizes. Try not to have them overlap, but just have them um, just sprinkle in some happy gold dots right up in there. So I decided to use more extreme sheen and I used the ruby metallic extreme sheen and I got this sweet slow motion shot. Check out that string hang time. It's pretty cool, right? Boink. Now using that purple sunset, just add a touch of white and go over each one of those purple dots with a lighter purple dot. So now grab your tiniest tool and extend that yellow out into the green dots by placing top dots right on top. And now using that same yellow, let's see if we can squeeze a tiny little dot in between those first, that first row of orange dots. Just add a little bit uh, more brightness to the center of that mandala. And now go right on top of the orange dots with the yellow. So now we're going to add some tiny white dots on top of the yellow. And now some orange dots in between the large yellow dots. And now we'll add white to that blue and just add a smaller, lighter shade of that blue right on top. And after looking at that, I decided to go over those gold dots with green. I think uh, I was trying to shove a dot where it shouldn't be and it wouldn't fit. And so it's always, this is a trick, when you do something in a bright color. If you go over it in a darker color, it's not going to be as noticeable. And now we'll add some purple dots and extend that purple up into the rainbow a little bit more by adding two dots right on top of each of those larger dots. And now we'll add some more white to that lavender and make an even lighter, smaller top dot. Now we're going to take those gold dots and just extend them all the way in as far as we can go into the colored section of the mandala, just surrounding where those, those purple dots are. And now here I see two perfect little spaces where I can fit some tiny white dots. So I'm going to do that right around those blue sections. Okay, so there's the top. I can't squeeze another dot in, so it's time to extend it down the sides. Okay, so now we're gonna finish. The top is now done. So we're gonna grab our gold paint and extend that gold band down the sides. And we're just gonna do just a sprinkling of gold. Now I realized when I put the dots on top of that gold, I didn't like them there. So just wiped them off with my silicone tool and then extended them down from that bottom line down into the black. So we did the first round of random dots using a stylus tool and now we're going to come in and use our tiniest tool, and in my case, it's my, uh, my pointed silicone tool, it just makes the teeny tiniest dots. So we're just filling in any 
uh, spaces, any large spaces, and then making tiny dots right down at the bottom. Well, I am really pleased. I like the way that looks. So now what we're gonna do is take those chalk lines out. Turns out I didn't need them after all. So the cool thing about that chalk line is it just wipes off with water and now you're left with just the paint. So now what I like to do for a finishing touch is just grab some velvet and inside of these boxes are exactly one and three eighths inches in diameter. And so you just cut a little circle of velvet and we're gonna place it in the bottom of the box. Okay, so now for the final finishing touch, we're gonna come in and take the top of that box and add a nice thick coat of super, super shiny varnish right on the top of the rainbow and the gold. For the varnish, I thought it would be really neat to have the top be ultra glossy while having the bottom, the black part, be kind of charred and matte looking. So there it is, the rainbow mandala box, little ring box, so cute for a little gift. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me today. I really hope that you liked this project. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I have more videos on the way. And as always, you can meet me at the dottingcenter.com for any dot art supply needs. So thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great week. Until next time, bye.